I'm here with People Senior Royals editor Michelle Torber. Michelle, awesome to see you. Great to see you too. Thank you. This is part two of our conversation about what it's like to report on the royal family. Earlier, we broke down the day-to-day -day aspects of the job. Now we're going to talk about some of your personal highlights, Michelle. Yes. So first up, what's been the biggest story that you've covered? And what was it like for you to, to be out there on the front lines as a journalist? So I would have said um, before, when was it? Before, like uh, six weeks ago, I would have said, you know, the weddings. I mean, the, <laughs> the weddings are, are kind of an all hands on deck, um, you know, huge operation. But I have to say now that it was the news that Meghan and Harry were, were stepping down as senior royals. That's the biggest one. It really was because that's, you know, the weddings we see coming, yeah. the babies we don't quite see coming, but, but you know, we know what a, we know what a baby, a royal baby story is. This was, <laughs> it was, it was a lot. It was a lot to try to get our heads around, frankly. You may have answered this already, but what's been your most surprising or shocking moment? Let's say outside yeah. of the, it's it, it, a different answer? No, it is a different answer because. Door on the ground moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, well, there were, okay, I, first I have to say, when we ha first um, confirmed that Meghan and Harry were a couple, again, like, I, I, you can't overstate the fact this is an American actress. This is our dream at People Magazine. You know? <laughs> we were we were overjoyed because you know one of our own was was married you know dating at that time, but w Prince Harry. You know, like it was. I again, I still will sometimes say to my team, "Can you believe that that, that happened?" It's mind blowing. Stuff. It is mind blowing. It is. But on a, on another level, um, as a parent and and just a relatable level, one of my favorite um, moments was when. Um, on the balcony at Trooping the Color when we saw Queen Elizabeth scold Prince William for bending down to talk to <laughs> Prince George. And I was just like, oh my gosh, every grandma. Yep. <laughs> Funniest moment, that yes. go-to story uh, when you're at dinner parties, what's that one? Yeah, so this is crazy, but I did a cover story um, a actually about a year ago, in a year ago in February, um, with Megan's friends. It made a lot of news. It yes, was um, the first time that. Megan's friends spoke out. And the timing came together when I happened to be on a cruise with Oprah Winfrey. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Gail King. And it was and and um, it was just random, random coincidental timing. I was covering that cruise for people, and at the same time, the biggest story of my career uh, potentially was happening at the exact same moment. So I don't know if you've ever tried to report a story from a cruise ship, Sharon. I've never been in a cruise ship, so no. Okay, and this is my first time, actually. <laughs> I can't imagine it's easy. No, the signal is not great in the middle of the Atlantic. So um, we were in the, like the, the Bahamas or something, and so I, I was trying to do interviews like hanging, uh, it's the balcony again, hanging off a, a ship balcony, like trying to get the, oh, the, the signal goodness. from the, I don't know, the, the sky or whatever. And the like the rushing water, I could barely hear. I was taking notes like with one hand and the phone like this and wow. trying to act like it was not on a cruise ship. So um, that's the story I tell people because it was pretty nuts. And you did an incredible job of that story as well. <laughs> thank I you, thank well. you. It was a little touch and go there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well done for pulling that off. Okay, you're obviously covering the role uh, you have a lot of major stories to cover, sleepless nights. Um, <laughs> what has been your lowest or most frustrating uh, time where you didn't even know if you were going to make it through? Yeah, um, I, I've, I, I think I've successfully blocked out most of those times. <laughs> but um, I would say, you know, anytime we are... Um, we are hit with a bunch of breaking news at once. I mean, listen, that's our jobs, and 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 we have a really professional. I have the best team, and we um, we we all get to work. But it was a tough stretch when Meghan and Harry announced they were expecting right at the start of that Australia tour, yes. because that time change again. These are not real problems, but in Royals world, it was a challenge. That time change is brutal. It's like what is it uh, with Australia? It's like a day. It's like a. Day, it's like some. Goodness they're in knows. the future. I don't know. I am so bad with that. Anyway, <laughs> many many hours. Ahead. Yes, it's many many hours ahead. So things, you know, we're already always behind um, London time, and it felt like we were behind. We were like on another planet trying to catch up, and and they had just shared this this huge news that they were expecting. And so the, the tour itself became even 
more, you know, um, a, a, of a media circus, so to speak, and of a of a of a big deal for us. Um, it was already a huge deal, <laughs> so um, it was a lot. It was a lot. we were we were a haggard looking bunch at the end of that tour. Oh, I'm exhausted just thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. Well done, though. <laughs> Finally, let's end on a high note. What's your absolute favorite moment? from covering the royals so far. When it was the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death a couple years ago, um, we did a special um, issue and a, and a, and a special uh, television special all about commemorating that. And um, Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, um, did an interview with us and we were able to film and do the interview at Althorpe, which is um, Diana's childhood home, the Spencer family home, um, ancestral home. and. I couldn't believe, you know, I, I couldn't believe I was there. I couldn't believe I was speaking with Charles Spencer, who is lovely, kind, gracious. I, I, I couldn't, you know, it was like one of those, like you're stepping out of your body. Yeah. And again, I have really been um, a, a Royals fan and, a, and, a, and a, an Anglophile for my whole life, um, at least as long as I, as long as since dressing up as, as Elizabeth in, in sixth grade. So, um, so, so I really, um, I, it was a definite pinch me. I, I appreciated um, that I was able to experience something like that and hearing his memories um, of his sister and, and being in that incredible setting, it, I'll never forget it. Wow. Michelle, thank you so much for sharing these incredible stories. <laughs> thank Amazing you. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Sharon.